vaccinate your children or we really all will get measles, confirms new study. The final word has been written. A new study funded by the National Institutes of Health NIH confirms that there's definitely a link between the anti-vaccination movement and recent outbreaks of measles and pertussis aka whopping cough in the U.S. Though measles was officially eliminated from the U.S. ahem, thanks to vaccination back in January 2000, the recent resurgence of cases prompted researchers to take a look at what was going on. Among 1,416 cases examined, more than half occurred in people who never got the measles vaccination, the study reports. What's more, among the 970 cases for which vaccination data was available, 574 people were unvaccinated despite being eligible and D70% had non-medical exemptions. In other words, they got out of the vaccine for philosophical or religious reasons. Substantial proportion of the U.S. measles cases in the era after elimination were intentionally unvaccinated, the study concludes. When it comes to whooping cough, the five largest statewide outbreaks in the U.S. since 1977 when rates of this disease were at an all-time low have all involved large proportions of unvaccinated people. However, outbreaks are also occurring in highly vaccinated areas, indicating waning immunity to the disease the study authors say. When large amounts of people are vaccinated, it protects the small number of people who are unvaccinated for medical reasons from contracting the disease phenomenon often known as herd immunity. And anti-vaxxers are putting those folks at risk. Arts have a responsibility not only to their own children, but to their communities tease only by achieving a very high level of population immunity that outbreaks can be prevented, writes Francis Collins, MD, director of the NIH, in an online blog post. Collins also reconfirms what we've been told for years, there's no link between vaccines and autism. So let's all agree to get our shots, okay? <laughs>